Romans 13 verses 11 to 14. Our salvation is nearer. Brothers and sisters. You know the time, it is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced, the day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light, let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make no provision for the desires of the flesh. Before studying this reading let's back up a few verses in order to put this reading into perspective. Romans 13 verse 8 to 10, Owe nothing to anyone, except to love one another, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor, hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. Turning to Matthew 22 verses 36 to 40 we hear Jesus explain the identical concept when he responds to the young lawyer's questions. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments, clearly, Paul is echoing Jesus by saying, you will be following all the commandments if you love God and your neighbor. Three of the commandments have to do with your relationship with God, and the remaining seven cover transgressions against you neighbor or those around you. In today's reading Paul is telling us to become more Christ-like. A faithful, obedient, Loving Christian grows spiritually by modeling their life after that of Christ, as we put on the Lord Jesus Christ, His light, His truth, His love become embedded in our day-to-day -day life. It is interesting that the word Christian was first used by the Gentiles of Antioch Syria as a put-down of Jesus' followers. In their language Christian meant little Christs. Isn't that what Paul is asking us to become? We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God and God in him.